Hello and welcome. In this video I will be discussing techniques around strong beer conditioning and bottling. In beer brewing, when we say a strong beer or a high gravity beer, this generally refers to a beer which is over 1.75 in original gravity. Styles that are within this starting point are English or American barley wine, a lot of different Belgian beers, Imperial and Baltic beers also. You can, of course, just condition your high gravity beers just in bottles. There is a disadvantage to this though, because you will find that uh, if you do so, then it will take a lot longer than actually con conditioning in bulk. For bulk conditioning, we use carboys or demijohns. As you can see, they come in many different shapes and sizes and are also made in glass, but more often than not these days in a plastic. They can also be used for a regular fermentation. Brewing a high gravity beer is really another topic uh, that I won't cover here, um, but the fermentation would normally last about three weeks, and at that point you would then look at actually transferring it to uh, a carboy or a demijohn for uh, a longer conditioning period. Uh, one thing that's really important in this process is that you fill the container up right up until the neck. This is important to avoid oxidisation. The amount of time that you would leave a high gravity beer to actually condition varies considerably depending on its strength. But uh, a six month period is uh, pretty much a starting point and anything up to two or three years is uh, not unheard of. So now I'll take you through the process of me actually preparing um, a beer that I've had in storage now for uh, a long time. Uh, first part now is to make a starter to get my yeast going uh, because the yeast that's actually still within the beer uh, has long since died and I want uh, my new yeast to be already uh, up and going and healthy so that that gives everything a nice kick start. When choosing a yeast for your beer it's absolutely essential that the yeast is tolerant to the alcohol level of the beer. So I made this starter the day before I intended to bottle um, and I used a stir plate to get the yeast uh, properly going. So it's now the day that I'm going to bottle this beer and as you can see from this photo the uh, yeast starter definitely uh, has worked uh, though you won't always see this of course. Here is my carboy. This is actually an English barley wine which is just over 9% alcohol, so not super strong, but uh, definitely it's been uh, sitting in a carboy since last year, just to make sure that this is absolutely perfect when it comes out into the bottle. I've also boiled up some sugar water uh, so that I can uh, use this to uh, create the carbonation in the bottles. So I'll start by adding this sugar water directly to my bottling bucket. The amount of sugar that you'll use will be according to style of course. I then add the entire yeast starter, no point decanting this, it was just under a litre of starter and this is 23 litres of beer so it won't have any effect on the uh, end beer at all in terms of taste of the starter. I then use a siphon to transfer the uh, beer directly into the bottling bucket. Uh, look at the colour of that, absolutely beautiful. Here's a close-up picture of the beer in a glass. Obviously there's no carbonation yet, but uh, this is looking like a beautiful beer and the initial taste test was extremely positive. After a few gentle stirs uh, mm -hmm. from the bottom of the bucket, I then started bottling. After that, the labelling process uh, had to start um, and here is the final product. Uh, very nice, I feel. I do have a YouTube video uh, covering the brewing and recipe and method for this beer if you'd like to check it out. As always, I hope you found this video enjoyable and useful. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.